I want to talk about section views. Um, this is a section view here that's been cut through the model and I want to show you how to create one and show you what happens when you adjust it. So this is section one. So if I go to one of my working views where all my sections are on, so plan A1, you're going to see this is section one, so it's cutting through the model and looking at the elevation of that center part. It's view number 12 on sheet 00, so once you place it on a sheet this will populate. To create a section view is pretty simple. Here's one here, I'm just going to delete this one and we'll make another one. So I'm going to go to view tab up here and I'm going to go to section. Over here in the type selector it shows you the type of section, so what does it look like and what is its name. I'm going to come over here and left click where I want the section to be and draw vertically where I want that section cut and then left click and it creates that section. If we scroll down you'll see that it's named it section number four. It'll be the next section in the series. If I select that section again you'll see that the view range has been pushed all the way out to the edge. Um, there's also a Z view range we can associate that section with this scope box just like we did with the plans in the previous videos. So I'm going to double click on this section head and it's going to take me to that section. And you'll also notice it's very squatty. The crop box is very squatty in the Z. So we're going to adjust that using this scope box. So to set it to the scope box you simply make sure you're not selected on anything. Be in the view that you want a scope box and come to your properties and there's a scope box here under extents and if you go to the pull down and pick scope box A it will realign that crop with that scope box so it's very convenient. If, again if we look at the 3D view this is that scope box and that's what it's now using to crop the view extents with. Okay so now I have this view I'm going to clean it up a little bit I'm going to select one of these sections and type VH for view hide. I'm going to select one of the levels and type VH for view hide. I'm going to select this reference plane and type VH for view hide. And then I'm going to select this floor and instead of doing the view hide, which actually hides the whole category, I'm going to right click and go to hide in view elements. Now if I picked category it would be the same as the VH that hides the entire category. I just want to hide this one floor. And just to show you what that sort of means, if I go to my visibility graphics like we were using to set up the view template, so I typed V twice there to get that to come open, and I go to my annotation categories and I scroll down, you're going to notice that the visibility check is removed from the levels, the reference planes, and the sections. When you do view hide, it's removing this check. So you can either remove the check manually, do view hide is the fastest way, I'm going to go ahead and hide my um, my crop region. So I'm going to left click on the hide crop region down here. And now my um, view is almost ready to go. I want to go ahead and change my scale to 1 32nd of an inch so it will match the rest of the things on my sheet. And I'm going to scroll down and go to my composition sheet. I'm going to delete this one. And I'm going to pull on section 4. Right, so there's my section four. And I'm going to go ahead to the pull down over here while the view is still selected and change that viewport to no title. So I have no title on there. Okay, so now that guy is set up. Now, I do want to show you one more thing. So I'm going to zoom in on this a little bit and I'm going to hide my windows and I'm going to double click on section four. And then I'm going to window tile WT and zoom all ZA. And then I'm going to zoom in on this guy again. Now, actually what I need to have open is my floor plan. So I'm going to close that and I'm going to go back to my plan A1 and I'm going to zoom, put that guy in there and zoom in on it. So here's my section 4. You'll notice that it is now has a number in it and the section 1 does not because we replaced it. But I can pick this section and I can flip it. You see that flip? And if you'll watch it, you see how it flips on here. So you can actually flip that section. And if I were to disassociate it, um, and I can actually move that section so I could move it to a different place and you can see it updating, right? 
So you have a dynamic section there. You can also adjust the view range of it, but you would have to disassociate it from the scope box. Right, so if I disassociate this from the scope box, I can then adjust the view range separately and just do a little slice of that guy right there, right? Or again, I can come back and associate it with that scope box again, and it will adjust itself to the scope box. Okay, so that is sections quickly, I know, but nevertheless.